and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm gonna be going over what you should be doing before most feared master stuff everything cards part two comes out so if you guys haven't seen my other video already star i'm only posting two videos today guys uh, i woke up extremely late i actually woke up at like 10 35 the stream had already started i was in a panic i had school i couldn't i usually get my videos in the morning so i'm only gonna have these two for you guys today but i think these are more than enough the info what to do before and that should be just enough for you guys to go into tomorrow and then tomorrow obviously start banging out content again but guys so obviously at this point you've probably seen the other video if you have not you should probably go watch that it goes over all the cards, the sets, new house rules, and everything. So, the way they're going to go about this new house rules, guys, is that they're going to be doing it in a sense that it's not going to be like 75 games again. It's not going to be full games. It's going to be a tug of war format, guys. So, that's, that's exciting. So, we can look forward to that. But, guys, if you have any house rules still to finish, you might want to do that now. This will, These house rules will end tomorrow at about like probably 10 30, 9 o'clock Eastern time tomorrow morning. So, I'd recommend you guys. I recommend you guys get these house rules done because if you do not, you will be screwed, quite honestly. You're gonna have no other option if you got because imagine you guys have like 67 wins, right? And you forget to finish it. Make sure you're finishing it. That'll suck at that many wins. But the only issue with this new house rules, although it's gonna be a lot less games, probably like 25, 30, and it's gonna be non-full games, it's gonna be a lot quicker. But the only issue is it won't count towards your series progression wins, which if you guys don't already know, it's over here. You go to series progression. So right here, it's not gonna count towards these wins, which is fine because at the end of the day, I did enjoy getting these wins, but playing 75 games was not enjoyable. It was mind straining. I never wanna do that again. So quite honestly, I'm okay with it, but you guys wanna get your house rules done. Also, they're gonna be releasing new solo challenges to get some of those 88, 90 overall players like Marcus Mariota, Tariq Cohen, uh, Keanu Neal, and those guys. So you're gonna wanna get your solos done too. You guys have been playing your cauldron set, uh, challenges and all that stuff because if you guys have not, you're gonna be a little behind and catching up. Play your cauldron challenges, get that done for the day. Uh, keep saving your bats, obviously. And with houses coming out tomorrow, guys, I really don't know. I think that if you guys have any of those power-ups, like if you had Denzel Ward, Sue, Frederick, maybe you still should hold them. I don't know if I, I'm not selling mine yet. I have a ton of them, but I wouldn't sell them just yet because if you guys remember what happened with Tyler Lockett, Tyler Lockett was like 30k, and now he was like, and then he was like 60k. So like it could go up when House Wars comes out. So if you guys have any of those guys sitting in your binder and you're not sure when to sell them, maybe just wait. I don't think they'll get any lower, but they could potentially get much higher. That's probably the route I would take. Now, as far as should you guys be picking up any of these cards, right? Kind of applies to this video. There's Sue, Ward, and Manning. Now, obviously, I'll make a more in-depth ranking video on the three stat by stat, going over who you should take from house rules, yada, yada, yada. But for the time being, in my personal opinion, is Ward worth it? Yes. Ward is Deion Sanders without zone. If you could power up properly all the way, hmm, put John Madden on him, really work his cams up you could probably get him close to Deion Sanders time like Deion Sanders mode for free and Dalma Kung Su if you put him at defensive tackle he's the best defensive tackle in the game or at least close to it he's one of the best and then as far as uh Travis Frederick goes I have to compare him to Kevin Mawai but he still looks pretty good I do need a center so I'll probably end up picking him up I do like all three in the last one I didn't like Cam I didn't really like Earl but I liked Lockett kind of this one I kind of like all three so I really like this one and then the Masters paid him Manning now the Masters paid him Manning to be quite honest with you, I don't know if he's worth it. I'm going to go show you guys a few other quarterbacks in his range just to give you guys an idea. Peyton Manning stats to give you guys a sum up if you haven't seen the video. He has low 90 stats all across the board and no speed. And then a, a 88 throw power. So let's see. Let's compare him to some other quarterbacks. See how he stacks up. Obviously, Cam's about a comparison. Let's compare him to some pocket passers. So we got Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan has pretty much the same stats. Almost identical, actually. A better throw on the run and play action, I think. Aaron Rodgers has almost the same. Actually, Peyton Manning slightly better pass, but Aaron Rodgers a little more mobile. Now, Andrew Luck's the big comparison for me. Andrew Luck has almost the same, almost the exact identical throwing stats, if not better. And he has escape artists. I think Andrew Luck's better. I feel like the Peyton Manning could have been a lot better. They, it, in my opinion, if you're going to make a master passing card, make him a master passing. Don't make him like, oh, he's a good passer. Nine, nine, low 90s is a good passer. He should have like a 97 throw accuracy deep. Something crazy that makes you want him. Like, if you had a 95 throw power, a 97 feet 94 mid i want that card i do i would have i would have bought it but being that he's no different than andrew luck why would i downgrade myself and spend all that money for the master when i can just get andrew luck that can actually run and pass like that it just doesn't make that much sense now what should you be doing with your coins with more stuff coming out to most feared guys i'm hoping that they eventually release something bat related so that bats will come up but for the time being i don't think it'll be as cheap most i don't know 
I don't want it to say, I don't want to say it'll be as cheap as the Cam's and Earl's were because they're not going to have as much training and stuff left over. But maybe they do still have that stuff left over. And it's also the Sharp. But I told you guys, the Sharp is not going to be the most expensive one. The Scary Fast is. And by the way, since they did not release the Fast, that means they are releasing it in Strong, uh, Sharp, and then Fast. They're going to release it all separately, which I guess is kind of cool. Really keeps everything separate and it keeps us from focusing too much on everything as a whole. We get to really just focus on one at a time. And like I said, the fast will probably be the most expensive part of any of this promo, of this whole most weird promo. So that's what I'm really waiting for. See what kind of monsters we get out of there. And I wonder who the who the, the set hero will be, quite honestly. I mean, I don't believe they released the fast, right? I just watched the stream. I'm pretty sure that's not even out yet. But we still got plenty of other things to come out, guys. Make sure you're investing in power-ups. Because, like, obviously, there's some cars that were quite obviously getting one. Like, Travis Frederick has not gotten a card all year. I had his power-up. Like, I was expecting that Sue. Same thing. There's some guys that you can kind of expect. And they're going to be getting a card in the near future, like Ezekiel Elliott. Now, I don't know if he'll be getting a most feared, because the next one's scary fast, and Zeke isn't really scary fast. I think Zeke might be getting more of a Thanksgiving card. At least that's a guarantee, in my opinion. If he does not get a most feared card, he's getting a Thanksgiving card, and that's a lock. Like, that's a guarantee, in my opinion. So, I'd recommend you guys stay on top of things like that. Just make sure you're checking out the base leads. Make sure that you know who has gotten one, who hasn't gotten one yet, because that really goes a long way in predicting these. Right now, I'm sitting on, like, 60 power-ups of all these cards that I thought would get cards, and they're going to be selling for, like, 40 to 50k right now. I'm going to make probably 2 million coins. Like you'll see. When I finally sell these cards, I'll wait for house rules to drop and stuff. When I sell these cards, I'm going to make tons and tons and tons of coins, guys. I promise you, it was definitely worth it. And just stay on top. You don't have to go millions of coins in deep on them. Just get a few out there. Get a few feelers. You, know, you could really triple, double your coins with this kind of stuff. And hopefully, I can use that to go buy myself a Pat Peep. But as a whole, right? Make sure your bats are up. Don't get a crazy amount of Like 10,000 bats for me, this seems fine, right? If I want to get anything else, I can just quick sell something. Make sure your bats are at a decent amount in case they drop a blitz or anything. Definitely be staying on top of your bat count. You do not want to go under on your bat count because if anything drops like a blitz, you're going to be screwed. You know why? Because if you guys know anything from the Christmas promo, if you didn't have snowflakes and the blitz dropped, every card on the block went up three times the price and it was no longer worth it. See, the blitz promo was worth it when you got a, a Sam Donald 93 for 200k. It wasn't worth it when he was 500k. You were losing coins doing the blitz. So just make sure you have something ready just in case. Uh, obviously, have play or just have a player on your team like, Rock with Tyler Lockett for a few weeks. Just rock with him. And if you need to quick sell him at any point, you have him ready to go. For me, I have Ray Lewis ready to quick sell if I really need to. Although I'd rather not, but I would if I had to. And because I still have his power parts, so everything's on the power up. I could just rebuy him back afterwards. But definitely just stay on top of all that. Coins, definitely keep your coins up. Do not let coins, do not let your coins stay low. We're going to have scary fast soon. Trust me, you're probably going gonna to want to participate. If we thought scary strong and scary sharp was good, scary fast is going to be the fastest cards in the game. And you all know we, we overreact for speed. So make sure you're, you're staying on top of that, boys. You do not want to be falling behind in the speed category, obviously. There are going to be some great cards to get. Put some shaker on them. Get them up in speed a little bit even more. Burn some people. I'm super excited. I really don't know who it could be. I want to say Tyree Kill, but I don't think they're releasing a Tyree Kill this promo. But it would make sense, but I don't think they will. I don't know who scary fast would really be as the set as a set master. Who would be a scary fast card? Like maybe Deontay Hall, that cornerback from the uh, the Redskins back in the day. I don't know. Scary fast is a new one. I haven't really put too much thought to that. Hopefully it's a banger. But personal last tips for tomorrow when it drops. Get your house rules done. Make sure that's, make sure you're getting your house rules done. You're gonna want that free player. Make sure you're scaling those power. If you have those powers. Make sure you're checking the block to see how their value is increasing and, and decreasing. See what's going on so you know when you're ready to sell them. And quite honestly, go check out those new solo challenges. I wasn't a fan of the first drop of solos. But college and solos were okay. I was not a fan of the second drop, which was the like regular set. But the second, like the second part drop, actually, it might be actually kind of cool. Apparently, you get like an 88 to 90 overall player for free, Nat. So that's gonna be pretty cool. There's Tariq Cullen. There was Mariota. There was Keanu Neal and Zadarius Smith, I believe. Did I get those all right? So those could be really cool. Definitely be staying on top of that, guys. I mean, it could be pretty cool. But that's about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this what to do helped you guys out, like what to do last minute, what to get ready for for tomorrow. Um, so coins up. Make sure your bats are staying up. Finish your house rules. Finish your cauldron solos. Um, don't go all in on sharp. Just don't go all in on sharp. Get someone you like, and then that's it. Chill. Don't go all in. Going all in kills you. I will be dropping videos on how to get paid in Manning or the Nat players are pretty cheap. And in that case, you can go all in if you do it properly. But that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the I hope you guys enjoyed today's videos. I only probably have two out for today, sadly. But if you guys have been liking the channel, you've been enjoying it, you want to come for all the Madden stuff every day, hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell. It'll be greatly appreciated. Comment down below what you guys think and what you guys are doing before part two drops. If you haven't already, 
Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you're a loyal, you're an OG. Let's get this video to 200 likes. I greatly appreciate everyone of you guys that likes it. It goes a long way, more than you guys even know. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. See you guys later. Peace.